Hey guys, welcome back. It's Redux. Thanks again for joining me here uh, with another video, and I'll be doing some live gameplays for you guys today. And uh, this is gonna be my army composition. I've got Commander Kane, the Militant, Laser Squad, Flame Troopers, Attack Bike, Banshee, and the Inferno aircraft. And uh, if you don't know what this aircraft does, basically it will bomb any ground units and it will just incinerate anybody on the ground. It's a very powerful anti-ground unit. The only downside is it can't attack air and it's got to reload as well. So after it uses a bomb, it's going to have to reload and you have to protect this bomber as best as you can if you want to use it again and again. So we're going to go ahead and start a battle and uh yeah hopefully we get some we get some nice games in this footage for you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys prefer me to just commentate replays or analyze replays control. instead of doing live battles but i thought um switching it up might be a good idea as well to show you guys how i play here on the live games so we're gonna go start start uh right into the um straight off into the harvester here and we are going to go for a militant squad here and i'm gonna just scout him out and he's got a pit bull on the top. Seems like he's expecting some kind of attack bike, attack bike opening, and uh, he has no harvester. Now he's got one, and I'm gonna actually tile block him and go for an attack bike. And uh, yeah, this is basically not gonna let him farm. So this is one trick you can use when you've got the early opening here, and he's gonna. I could have tile blocked him there as well, but I didn't do a very good job there. We'll go for another attack bike. And uh, we're going to send this guy backwards. And I'm not even going to care about the Rhino because the Rhino is not a threat to me anyways. And we are going to go for some... He's going to go for some Pit Bulls here. We will go for some Laser Squads. And I'm going to just try to microwave my, my guys as best as I can here. And uh, he's not doing much here. And he boosted up his... He boosted up his guy. But I've already got the missile anyway, so I'm fine. I'm going to just send my laser squads to deal with that. Uh, actually, we're going to deal with this rhino first. We're going to send an attack bike down there. As I know, he's got another one. What am I doing with my laser squads? Jesus Christ. And I'm going to move my laser squad backwards. We're going to send an attack bike here. Deal with this uh, rhino here. That's really pesky. And uh, we're going to try our best to deal with these harvesters and whatnot. He's got another rhino coming out. We're going to shift our units around, and he's boosted up his guy here. Um, and I'm going to try to just deal with that as best as we can here. Um, yeah, just try to micro away your guys if you can, if you're not going to win the fight. And I've got the... I could use the Tower uh, Obelisk of Light here, but I'm pretty... I'm doing pretty good here. So, I mean, I've, I've won the game. He's... He's, he hasn't done, he didn't do a very good job there in the beginning, um, but yeah, you saw what I did there. I tile blocked his harvester right from the beginning, which uh, delayed his farming time, and that was pretty funny there. Uh, cool little tricks I like to do with the militants or the riflemen. Here will be the second game, and we will be facing another Nod player here, and he'll be using the same commander as me, so I have to keep in mind he's got Commander Kane. Now this is a great map for attack bike rush, so I'm going to open up with an attack bike, see what he's got. Let's see if he's got a harvester on the field, and he does. Great, so I'm going to go for two attack bikes. It's, oh, it goes for double harvesters. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, as you guys know, in this kind of, in, in a map like this, where all the crystals are kind of towards the middle of the map, you can go for this attack bike rush um, and see if your opponent has uh, you know, harvesters out on the field before you do, or, you know, you can, if he's got double harvesters going on like this, you can definitely punish him very hard in this way. And, uh, we are going to go into the Hand of Nod. We're going to go for some laser squads here. And basically, I'm just going to harass the crap out of this guy. That's basically what I'm going to do. And we're gonna go for some more attack bikes. We're gonna go for an air tower as well. You know what? I could have just gone for an inferno bomber. I probably could have just gone for an inferno bomber. And yeah, let's go for an inferno bomber. And we're gonna we're gonna bomb these guys. We're gonna we're gonna bomb these harvesters. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build the obelisk of light to to hold on to this launch pad as best as we can. He goes for his own obelisk of light. This is hilarious. Okay, this is actually funny. We're gonna bomb this. 
Okay, watch this. We're gonna we're gonna bomb both of those two units with our powerful Inferno Bomber. And uh, we're gonna try to capture this missile here. And let's see if we can get yeah, let's get let's get another attack bike up. He's still got the double harvesters going. I'm gonna tile block him here. No, I can't. I can't. Is my bomber gonna go down? I think my bomber will go down, yeah. Missile was cancelled, that sucks. Okay. We're gonna send another bomber. We're gonna keep bombing him. That's really what we're gonna do, because he's only got ground units anyways. So I'm not too concerned. And we're gonna go for another obelisk of light, because I've got so much crystals now. As I am taking care of his guys. I'm not doing a great job of microwing my bombers there, as you guys saw, because... Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but... I kind of just let my bomber die there. We're gonna go for another bomb. Ooh. We're gonna take out that obelisk, and I'm gonna try to... Try to just bomb the crap out of this guy. And we're gonna go for... Yeah, we're just gonna keep spamming bombers. That's really what we're gonna do, guys. God, we're... We're just... This is so fun, guys. Just bombing bombing the heck out of these guys. I'm trying to micro my bombers, but I have I can just keep pumping out these bombers, to be honest. So I'll be fine. Like, I just have to hold on to these tiles. That's really what I have to do. And if I'm, you know, if I'm having problems with holding a tile, I can just go for the Obelisk of Light. And we're gonna... Let's go for the base. Why not, right? Why not? Why not have some fun here? And I'm gonna put my laser squad on the bottom. Holy smokes, guys. Did you see how much damage I'm doing to the base here? Ooh, and I win. Yes, I actually got the Infernal Bomber rush uh, success. I actually did the Infernal Bombing run on his base successfully here in the Diamond League. It's not easy to pull off, but I did it, guys. All right, let's go over another game here. Now, I know I'm not talking too much while I'm doing live gameplays because I'm trying to focus... Um, so I do apologize about that. So like let me know in the comments below if you would prefer me to just Commentate over replays because then I can focus more on commentating and actually analyzing what's going on But I just really want to showcase you guys the power of these inferno bombers. They're absolutely amazing I love these units. I love those aircrafts um, They just tear apart ground units and this is another great map I think to go aggressive on him with the attack bikes and this attack bike strategy does still work in higher leagues at times. Um, you just have to be careful. And he goes for double harvesters. What is up with all these diamond players going for double harvesters today? Jesus Christ. I might be getting quite lucky today. Ooh, we got some missile squads up. Let's bring around the... Let's do a Rosie around here. And I could have tile blocked them, but... Okay. We're gonna go for our own harvester now, and we're gonna go for a quick air tower, and I'm gonna get get an infernal bomber. Now he's trying to clear out my bikes. He's got a whole bunch of missile squads. Uh, we're gonna go for an infernal bomber, and uh, we're gonna bomb the heck crate the heck out of this guy. Okay, let's go for some flame squads. Let's bomb this guy. What what am I doing with my flame squads here? Yeah, you want to walk up to the fire tile? Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, buddy. I wonder if his double harvesters are up here. Oh, they are. Okay. They are. Let's bomb him. Oh, no. He's got only one harvester. Oh, my God. That sucks. My bomber went down. We're going to send another bomber, though. That's fine. And uh, I think he's got one more missile squad up there. Yeah, he does. Okay. We are going to bomb this guy. And we're gonna send our flame squads around the south here. Or actually, we're gonna let's move our flame squad to the top there. Ooh, he's going for those those guys. Let's bomb one more time. Can we get another bomb here? Oh no, that sucks. But his harvester almost went down, so that was pretty close. We're gonna take it out with a laser squad because his hammerhead can't do anything. He's got a wolf rain up now. I've let him farm too many crystals, but I've got the Obelisk of Light, so no worries on that. And we are going to build that right here. So I'm gonna let him come onto the tile. We're gonna build some more. We're gonna build some more uh, Inferno bombers here. Let's go for more Inferno bombers, and I'm gonna let him do his thing. 
Okay, we just have to zone him. Basically, we just have to block him, tile block him, and we can get the missile here. God, that sucks. That really sucks. And yeah, I just have to hold on to this though. Oh, I've got an I idle attack bike. Yeah, that's it. We just have to hold on to the launch pad and we win. He was too uh, busy trying to pump out those expensive units with his double harvester strategy and there goes the game for him. And that's three games in a row, guys. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Uh, let's do one more battle. And uh, let's see if our opponent again will go for double harvesters. The attack bike rush still works very well just because there's so many players trying to pump out expensive units and those players love to go into a double harvester opening. It doesn't even matter what rank you're in. Um, even better, good players at type. I've seen masters players doing it as well. They do it less on the on the Tiberium League. They don't really do it as much but again this is a good map for rushing my bikes. Um, Spiny, I think this guy was the same guy I just played against, right? I think he was. So this time he doesn't go for double harvesters. That kind of sucks. Um, gonna move my attack bike around. Now I've been countered. I can't remember if he was the same guy, but I think he is, right? Okay, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, let's move our bike around. He is the same player, I think. He knew what was gonna happen. He knew exactly what was gonna happen and he protects his harvester with his missile squad early there which kind of sucks because I should have seen that coming. Let's go for some militants here. Alright let's go for some militants here guys. Alright we are going to just rotate our guys best that we can. And I'm gonna prevent him, or try my best to prevent him from getting this. Let's just try to capture this uh, launch pad as best as we can here. And the attack bike should be able to hold on to this, tile block him, there we go. That's all you gotta do, tile block him, and he's only got one harvester on the field here. You just have to micro as best as you can here. Um, I thought he had a double harvester, I was kind of worried a little bit there. And that's it, let's go for some banshees. And try to control that top top zone there. And we're gonna go for some infernal bombers. There we go. That's how you deal with the shock waves. And he's got another harvester up there. Ooh, he's got the uh, hammerhead. I see. And we're gonna just bomb everything he's got. But he's got a hammerhead, so I should really watch out for that. Okay, let's try to take out that. God damn it. He took out my Infernal Bomber. Two of them with the Hammerhead. Definitely not doing the best job here. Let's send out some Flame Squads. And I'm just gonna try to control the launch pads at this point. Ooh, he's got. Oh god, he's got the Titan. No. Just hold on. Okay, Obelisk of Light, what am I doing? Come on, let's go. He's got too many Titans on the field, guys. I just have to hold on to his launch pad. That's all I have to do. He's got his healing drone up, but I've got this, guys. Come on. Just survive. Yes. Yes, I got the launch pad. Oh god. The top unit on that northern launch pad held on. Um, I can't even remember what that unit was. I think that was an a was that an attack bike I had on the top. But holy smokes, that was a really close game. I just completely zoned out. I didn't even talk anymore. I was just like focused on trying to get those launch pads as best as I can. But uh, definitely the Kane's Obelisk of Light saved us a couple games there. Jesus Christ, that last game. Ooh, that was intense, guys. I got countered so bad, and uh, wow. That's how you do it, guys. You just have to get those launch pads as best as you can. Get some bounties here. Again, thanks again for watching uh, my video here, and I hope you guys enjoyed my live gameplay here. I know I didn't talk very much, but when you're so close to perhaps losing a game, especially in that last game where you saw he was pumping out expensive units, um, 
you know, dealing with those expensive units is so difficult, I have to capture those launch pads before he can, so he doesn't dominate the map with Titans and Wolverines and all these high expensive units that I can't deal with. So, um, my goal really was to just win that game as quickly as I can, and the fastest way to do it is to capture launch pads. So, um, it's kind of hard to talk and play at the same time. Um, and I'll try to get better at it as I play the game more and more, but I hope you guys still enjoy the video And I hope you guys are killing it out on the ladder and uh, Once again leave a like comment and subscribe if you still haven't and I'll see you guys next time